with the latest from that part of the parish. Ashley. Hi there, Karen. Well, a dramatic difference in the ability to get around the parish has occurred throughout today, which of course has allowed for people who want to get into their homes and businesses to see what the flood has left them with. We found one family in the Thibodeau Road area of Ponchatoula already tearing up their home, which they bought just eight weeks ago. The family, which includes a National Guard member, says it lifted everything two feet high, but four feet got in. That's compared to the 13 inches from March. The school district is also in demolition mode across the parish. Neesom School in Tickfaw is one of the three most damages, damaged campuses, but leaders say they are not recovering alone. We had volunteers at some schools in Ponchatoula, for example, they were sandbagging the gym at Ponchatoula High and they saved it from uh, taking on a whole lot of water. And the same thing at Hammond East Side. We had some of our school board members that were we're in the water sandbagging, so uh, I can't say enough for all of our uh, system employees and our school board and the community for helping out. Now, as I touched on at the beginning of this report, many roads here are now open. However, the one main thoroughfare, I-12, where I'm at right now, is still closed westbound at I-55. The vehicles that you're seeing past me are taking the I-55 south exit. So, with that in mind, please know that it is still not possible to go westbound on I-55, and the reason is because as long as Livingston Parish is still seeing that flooding, they're going to keep it that way. Live in Hammond, Ashley Vondry, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks very much, Ashley. You have heard now from communities that were already hit hard. There are others still preparing for the potential flood threat. That includes an area downriver in St. James Parish. Meg Ferris joins us live from Gramercy with more on how people there are getting ready. Meg? That's right, Karen. And behind me, we've seen a stranded a buck, a young buck deer, rabbits, and all sorts of wildlife. That's just a sign that the Blind River is flowing the wrong way and rising. And because of that, it was all hands on deck in Grand Point today. And this is wrong, it's clear you come off. The tight-knit community spirit of St. James Parish was evident today. At Reed St. Pierre's sugarcane farm on the East Bank, the backup of the Blind River was creeping up by the hour. People from the dry, unthreatened West Bank came as volunteers to help save what took generations to build. If water getting in there, we've done it one time. It's a mess to clean all this up. I mean, you got tools, you got air guns and all that. I'm not worried too much about that, but this time I got a chance to protect it. I'm going to try. If it goes on, it goes on. But let's hope I'm doing this for nothing. It was a big water market and just gone. I mean, a large one. The guy next door killed four of them already, and we've even killed about two and three of them. At the Grand Point Fire Station, hundreds of volunteers from three generations loaded sandbags to help others save their homes and businesses. This is one of four sandbagging operations set up by the parish starting over the weekend. They worked in the heat and rain to load trailers of strangers. And why are you working so hard today? To help people, help people from getting floods. And is your home in danger of flooding? No, not yet. Everybody has a pretty good tendency to, to take care of their own around here. So, you know, take care of everybody when they need to. So, you know, just doing, doing what we can. The one blessing that we have is that we know when it's coming and we know we don't experience the rush of water that you saw in so many other areas in the state. We, we know it's coming and it creeps in on us so we can prepare. Entergy is preparing too. Workers are filling HESCO baskets with that same river sand to try to keep water out of a power station. The reason they're working so hard and the reason school and businesses are closed is this, the rising blind river. It should be flowing the other way toward Lake Morpa but it's not showing that high water from the Amit is too much and is causing backup. Yeah. And we're back live now and you can see those lilies are still flowing very fast in the wrong direction and here at the St. James Boat Club, residents of St. James have been coming in all day long taking their boats out and looking at it and they're saying that some of the fishing camps are already underwater and they say this is the benchmark in Isaac they flooded and this is going to be um, the benchmark of how fast these lilies are coming in the wrong way meaning that the water 
is piling up in the Blind River. Reporting live from Gramercy, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News. Back to you, Karen. That is a remarkable